Hi there, welcome to Quick Cover, the series where we aim to simplify some of the tasks around using QuickBooks Online. My name is Chris and I'm part of the Assisted Customer Experience team. In today's video, we're going to cover single touch payroll and how to get ready for year end. So what single touch payroll is, is the process by which every time you complete a pay run, you're sending that payroll information about what your employees have been paid to the ATO. So by the end of the year, your employee is able to complete their uh, income statement. So the type of information that you'll be sending to the ATO has actually recently changed. So previously in what was known as STP phase one, you were just simply sending out the gross amount. So what was the gross amounts uh, before and after tax that your employee was paid? Uh, in phase two, you're actually segmenting that further. So you're looking at things like what was the ordinary hours paid, the overtime, the leave, uh, allowances, et cetera, et cetera. So all that sort of split out, disaggregated as it may be called, and then that is sent to the ATO upon the completion of every pay run. So to go a little bit further into this, um, and particularly what it means regarding phase two STP, is you need to go in to the settings of your payroll, um, and there'll be a, something known as a classification against a pay category. So let's just say like over time 1.5, right? So you would go in, uh, did edit, you would look at the classification, update where appropriately, and then hit on save. And then you do that for sort of every other sort of um, leave category, pay category, et cetera, just to make sure your information is set up. So that way when you're sending that information to the ATO, it's split out nicely. So there's a couple benefits uh, with regards to single touch payroll. So firstly, for your employee, um, they're able to get that information regarding how much they earn through the year that much sooner because the information is integrated with the ATO and their MyGov account. So that means they're able to finalize their, their income tax return a little bit sooner, be able to get that tax return sooner, but it also makes it easier for you. It rem removes the, the need to actually produce and create those payment summaries, you might have remembered them as group certificates back in the day, no longer need to do that. Um, when you do something known as a finalization event, which is the final pay event or STP event uh, that you do in payroll, um, that information is sent to the ATO and then that's updated in the employee's MyGov account. So it actually makes things that much simpler for you. It's one less task you have to worry about for year end. Now, one of the questions we commonly uh, get asked is, what do I need to do to prepare um, for year end so that my tax accountant or my bookkeeper is able to, to help me. And one of the things I'll call out is, is making sure your records are correct and up to date. So a classic example uh, that we will see is with payroll is you finalize the pay run in the software and then when you go to pay them through your bank account, um, your employee will hand you a leave notice for last week. Now you go and just make note of that, you pay them through your bank account, but you haven't updated your payroll records. And if you remember what we spoke about earlier, we're now splitting out what is ordinary hours and what is sort of that leave entitlement hours. So what you need to do before a year end is making sure you're making those adjustments. Now there's something known as an ad hoc pay run. We can provide additional information for that down below, um, but that will help sure, make sure your, your advisor, your, your accountant or bookkeeper is as efficient as possible in supporting you through year end. And probably one last thing I'll call out is making sure that you're ready for year end is really ensuring that you've set up STP phase two correctly. Uh, now we spoke to earlier with regards to ensuring pay categories, leave categories, etc., have been set up correctly. Uh, but there's also maybe less likely scenarios for your business. But if they are there, you need to make sure you've accounted for that. So things such as if you've terminated an employee throughout the year, ensuring there's, there's a reason associated to that. There's also other things like if you have unique employment types, such as working holiday makers, labor hire, or say closely held employees. Now we're gonna provide a useful guide to that down below. Um, just follow the steps, it's really straightforward. Just making sure your records are up to date. Yeah. So that's probably the last thing I would call out. Uh, so with that, I wanna thank you for joining us for today's quick cuppa. For more information, visit our learn and support page via our website. Our friendly support team is always available through phone and chat, and you can also connect with our pro advisor through our website.